Good evening, Dr. Phil here. Today we'll be discussing on adenosine. Introduction Adenosine is an endogenous purine nucleoside consisting of adenine, the purine base, and D-ribose, the pentose sugar. Endogenous adenosine production Under physiological conditions, adenosine is principally produced intracellularly from hydrolysis of AMP through the endo-5 nucleotidase and S-adenosyl homocysteine SAH through SAH hydrolase. Extracellular generation of adenosine occurs via dephosphorylation of its precursor entities ATP, ADP, and AMP by specific hydrolyzing enzymes such as CD39 and CD73. Extracellular generation of adenosine is increased during stressful conditions. CNTs and ENTs allow free passage of adenosine across the cell membrane. The direction of adenosine uptake or release from cells is determined by the concentration difference across the membrane. Adenosine metabolism In blood and tissue, adenosine undergoes intracellular uptake, for example, by erythrocytes and vascular endothelial cells, and deamination to inosine by adenosine deaminase and phosphorylation to AMP through adenosine kinase. Effects of adenosine are thus short-lived with a half-life of 8 to 10 seconds. There are no active metabolites. Metabolites include inosine, hypoxanthine, and AMP. Elimination is not affected by renal or hepatic disease. Physiological role of adenosine. Adenosine is present in all cells and mediate many natural cellular functions such as energy homeostasis via membrane-bound G-protein coupled adenosine receptors A1, A2A, A2B, and A3. Adenosine is a component of adenosine triphosphate and diphosphate. Adenosine is highly increased following hypoxia, ischemia, or physical activity due to ATP consumption. ATP is the most important high-energy phosphate compound in the body when hydrolyzed to form ADP, it releases energy that may be utilized in many cellular processes. Its phosphate bonds are formed using energy from catabolism. Aerobic respiration generates 38 moles of ATP per mole of glucose. Anaerobic respiration, i.e. simple glycolysis, yields 2 moles of ATP per mole of glucose. Adenosine is considered as a novel kind of cell regulator also known as a retaliatory metabolite. It exerts body surveillance and protection by different mechanisms triggered by AR's activation, resulting in reduced oxygen demand and inflammation, increased oxygen supply and angiogenesis, and ischemic preconditioning. Adenosine receptors AR includes A1, A2A, A2B, and A3. A1 adenosine receptors, G-protein coupling, to GI or O, effector system is via reduced adenylyl cyclase, increased phospholipase C, increased calcium activated potassium ion channels, increased PI3 kinase, and increased MAP kinase. Roles In a CNS, inhibition of neurotransmitter release, neuroprotection, anxiolytic activity, anticonvulsant activity, reduction of pain. In a CVS, negative inotropic effect, negative chronotropic effect negative dromotropic effect, and ischemic preconditioning. Activation of A1 receptors increases chemotaxis in neutrophils. A1 activation produces bronchoconstriction. In the renal system, A1 activation results in vasoconstriction, reduction of GFR, inhibition of diuresis, and inhibition of renin secretion. In the GI system, there is inhibition of gastric acid secretion. In cellular metabolism, a1 activation results in inhibition of lipolysis and inhibition of insulin secretion. A2A receptors, G-protein coupling to GS. Effector system is via increased adenylyl cyclase and increased MAP kinase. Physiological roles. Activation of A2A results in excitatory activity in the CNS, stimulation of glutamate and acetylcholine release, reduction of locomotor activity, and trophic effects. In the CVS, vasodilation and inhibition of platelet aggregation. In immunity, there is inhibition of reactive oxygen species. 
In lymphocytes, there is immunosuppression. In monocytes and macrophages, there is inhibition of pro-inflammatory cytokine release. Activation of A2A produces vasodilation in the kidneys. In cellular metabolism, there is stimulation of gluconeogenesis. A2B receptors, G-protein coupling is to GS or GQ11. Effector system is via increased adenylocyclase, increased phospholipase C, and increased MAP kinase. Physiological roles, activation of A2B produces trophic effects in the CNS, vasodilation in the CVS. In the immune system, there is immune suppression of lymphocytes. There is inhibition of pro-inflammatory cytokine release from monocytes or macrophages. There is stimulation of degranulation amongst mast cells. In the respiratory system, there is bronchoconstriction. Activation of A2B stimulates intestinal chloride secretion and there is increased production of glucose. A3 adenosine receptors, G-protein coupling is to GI or GQ11. Effector system is via reduced adenylocyclase, increased phospholipase C, PI3 kinase, and MAP kinase. Physiological roles. Activation of A3 produces neuroprotection and reduction of pain in the CNS, ischemic preconditioning in the heart. In the immune system, there is inhibition of reactive oxygen species, decreased chemotaxis in neutrophils, immunosuppression amongst lymphocytes, Inhibition of pro-inflammatory cytokine release from monocytes or macrophages. Stimulation of degranulation from mast cells. There is bronchoconstriction in the recipe system and stimulation of intestinal chloride secretion in the GI tract. Examples of drugs acting at adenosine receptors. A1 adenosine receptor agonist includes adenosine usage example in the treatment of paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia. A2A adenosine receptor agonist examples includes adenosine, which is used in myocardial perfusion imaging, and regadenoson, which is also used in myocardial perfusion imaging. A1AR antagonist examples include theophylline, doxophylline, and bamifylline, which are used in the treatment of bronchial asthma, and caffeine, which is used in the treatment of neonatal apnea, headache, and reduced alertness. A2A AR antagonist examples include estradiophiline, which is used in the treatment of Parkinson's disease, and caffeine, which is used in the treatment of neonatal apnea, headache, and reduced alertness. Formulation of adenosine as a drug. Adenosine is presented as a colorless solution in vials containing 3 mg per mil. Store the vials at controlled room temperature of 15 to 30 degrees Celsius. Do not refrigerate to avoid crystal formation. Solutions must be clear prior to administration. Pharmacokinetics of adenosine when administered as a drug. It is metabolized in blood and tissue to AMP or inosine by erythrocytes or vascular endothelial cells. Effects are short-lived. There are no active metabolites. Inosine, hypoxanthine, and AMP are not active. Elimination is not affected by renal or hepatic disease. Half-life is 8 to 10 seconds. Total body clearance is 30 seconds. Actions of adenosine when administered as a drug. Adenosine produces A1 agonism. Adenosine-sensitive potassium channels A1 on SA and AV nodes are activated by adenosine. This produces increased potassium efflux, membrane hyperpolarization. GI proteins causes reduced CAMP. There is dramatic negative chronotropic effect within the AV node. This produces reduced automaticity and reduced AV node conduction. Adenosine also produces A2A agonism. Activation of myocardial A2 receptors by adenosine mediates coronary vasodilation by stimulating endothelial-derived relaxing factor and increased intracellular CAMP. Overall cardiac effects of adenosine. There is slowing of AV conduction via increased potassium conductance and reduced calcium conductance. Vasodilation produces increased coronary blood flow. There is reduced oxygen consumption of the heart. Adenosine has anti-adrenergic effects in calcium-dependent ventricular tissue. Adenosine lacks negative inotropism when used therapeutically. After an IV bolus, onset of action is immediate, 10 to 30 seconds. 
it is dose related and transient. Duration of action is about 1 to 2 minutes. Duration of action is prolonged by diperidamol therapy because uptake of adenosine is inhibited. If essential to give with diperidamol, reduce initial dose of adenosine to 0.5 to 1 mg. Duration of action of adenosine is reduced by theophylline, aminophylline, and other xanthines due to competitive antagonism. Methylxanthines such as caffeine and theophylline are adenosine receptor antagonists and inhibit adenosine's vasoactive effects. Withhold methylxanthines for 5 half-lives prior to adenosine administration. Adenosine is superior to verapamil as adenosine has a faster onset and may be used in situations where verapamil is contraindicated, such as cardiac failure, hypotension, with beta blockers, and in VT. Adenosine does not produce harm in ventricular tachycardia, but verapamil may produce hypotension or cardiac arrest. However, early relapse of paroxysmal SVT is more common than with verapamil, but usually responds to further doses. Clinical uses and dosages of adenosine Adenosine is the drug of choice for treatment of AV nodal re-entrant tachycardia, which accounts for 50-60% to 60 of cases of paroxysmal SVT, which is the most common form of paroxysmal SVT. If SVT is due to re-entry circuits that involve the AV node, adenosine may convert the rhythm to sinus rhythm, for example, paroxysmal SVT and Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome. Adenosine is safe and effective in ending more than 90% of re-entrant paroxysmal SVT. Adenosine is an alternative to DC cardioversion in terminating paroxysmal SVT. Adenosine's short half-life, 8 to 10 seconds, and lack of negative inotropism makes it an attractive alternative to verapamil. Caution in AF or atrial flutter with accessory pathway, as increased conduction down the anomalous pathway may occur. Dosage of adenosine By a large peripheral vein, such as at the cubital fossa, the dose is 6 mg by rapid IV injection, followed by rapid flushing with 20 ml of normal saline. If unsuccessful after 1 to 2 minutes, this may be followed by up to 2 further boluses of 12 mg of adenosine. If still no effect, abandon adenosine and opt for alternative treatments. If via central vein, consider halving the dose of adenosine to reduce the risk of asystole. Adenosine is more effective when given via a central vein or into the right atrium. Ensure continuous ECG monitoring during adenosine administration. Adenosine is also used in the diagnosis of tachyarrhythmias by slowing AV conduction. Adenosine is used in the diagnosis of broad complex tachycardias when the origin is uncertain. If the origin is supraventricular, heart rate is at least transiently slowed by adenosine. Atrial fibrillation and flutter are not converted by adenosine to sinus rhythm because they are not generated by re-entry circuits involving the AV node. Nonetheless, adenosine will slow the ventricular response and aid ECG diagnosis. If the origin is ventricular, heart rate is not slowed by adenosine. There is a predictive accuracy of 92%. Partly because VT may occasionally respond to adenosine, adenosine does no harm in VT, unlike verapamil. Adenosine may be used in the diagnosis of coronary artery disease. Adenosine is used as a coronary vasodilator in patients unable to exercise, in combination with myocardial thallium-201 perfusion scintigraphy to diagnose coronary artery disease. The dose is 140 mcg per kg per minute IVI for 6 minutes. Avoid use for cardiac nuclear stress tests in patients with signs or symptoms of acute myocardial infarction, such as unstable angina and cardiovascular instability, as use may increase the risk of fatal MI. Adenosine is a directly acting vasodilator drug used in hypotensive anesthesia. Adenosine increases cardiac output, provides a stable heart rate. Effects are rapidly reversible on stopping the infusion. The dose is IVI 50 to 300 micrograms per kg per minute. Adverse effects of adenosine. Adverse effects are usually well tolerated and last less than one minute. Cardiac effects include atrial fibrillation or flutter, as adenosine reduces atrial refractory period, bradycardia, which is resistant to atropine, malignant tachyarrhythmias, such as ventricular fibrillation. In most instances, 
These cases were associated with the concomitant use of digoxin and verapamil. Ventricular standstill and hypotension may be caused by adenosine. Transplanted hearts are particularly sensitive to adenosine's effects. Non-cardiac effects of adenosine includes flushing, dyspnea, chest pain, nausea, lightheadedness, dizziness, tingling in the arms, numbness, bronchoconstriction, caution in asthmatics, cerebrovascular accident, hemorrhagic and ischemic strokes have been reported. Hemodynamic effects of adenosine includes hypotension and hypertension, possibly associated with these adverse effects. New onset or recurrence of convulsive seizures have been reported following adenosine. Some seizures are prolonged and require emergent anticonvulsive management. Contraindications for adenosine includes second or third degree AV block, unless pacemaker fitted, sick sinus syndrome, unless pacemaker fitted, symptomatic bradycardia, bronchoconstrictive or bronchospastic lung disease such as bronchial asthma, nucleoside transport inhibitors such as dipyridamol, hypersensitivity, adenosine is pregnancy category C, in lactation, there is potential for serious adverse reactions in nursing infants. Decision to interrupt nursing after administration of adenosine or not should take into account importance of the drug to the mother. These are my references. Thank you.